Hello everyone. This will be my last one for this talk from this elder. You're going to hear a deceiving part and if you don't know the scriptures of the Bible and refuse to look them up to see what he's saying is a true or a lie or a deception and what I got out of it it was the deception so let's get into it and we'll go to the Bible and see what the Bible really teaches when it, they when he's talking about um, making a tasty dish for your husband and using a Bible scripture to prove that what wife's supposed to do for their husband and actually this part of the Bible scripture he's using is a deception because he left out the main parts of the scripture till he got to that one verse so let's get into this able to make the meal not only tasty but helpful as well now they say uh, we to a man's heart is through his stomach it's true it really does make a difference uh, you'll find that after your husband has sat down to a nice, good, tasty meal, you can ask him almost anything and he'll agree. But let's look at Genesis chapter 27 and verse 9 and we'll see that there's a scriptural basis for that. Same 27th chapter. Now listen very close. And we'll look at verse 9 together. 27 and verse 9. And we see that uh, Rebecca uh, wants something to take place. So she says, go please to the herd and get me two of the best young goats from there so that I may prepare from them, note, a tasty dish for your father just the way he likes it. So how often do you prepare a tasty dish for your husband just the way he likes it. Okay. You think that's a, a innocent and a loving way, Rebecca, was making a dish for her husband. But people, we have a major problem. It wasn't his wife was supposed to make the tasty dish to take it to her husband. Isaac asked his son Esau to make a tasty dish for him so he would get his words of wisdom would be given to Isaac. So let's go to the scripture of Genesis 27 and let's start with verse 1 and let's read what the Bible teaches. Now it came to pass, when Isaac was old, and his eyes were so dim that he could not see, that he called Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son, here I am. Behold now, I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now, therefore, please, take your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me. 
and make me savory food such as I love. See? Told you so. Isaac was asking his son Esau to make, to go find the, uh, the animal, a deer, or whatever, to make the dish that he loves and bring it and prepare it, bring it to him. It had nothing to do with his wife preparing a dish for him. So let's continue. And make me savory food such as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, that my soul may bless you before I die. In other words, he was going to get blessing from his father. That's what this whole chapter was about. Who was supposed to get the blessing and the true birthright? Was it Esau or Jacob? Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to Esau, his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt game and to bring it. So Rebekah spoke to Jacob, her son. Indeed, I heard your father speak to Esau, your brother, saying, Bring me game and make savory food for me, that I may eat it and bless you in the presence of the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to what I command you. Go now to the flock and bring... This is verse 9 where they took it out of proportion. Go now to the flock and bring me from there two choice kids of the goats, and I will make savory food from them for your father such as he loves. Then you shall take it to your father, that he may eat it, and that he may bless you before his death. Look, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth-skinned man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and I shall seem to be a deceiver to him, and I shall bring a curse on myself, and not a blessing. Let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice. And go, get them for me. And he went and got them, and brought them to his mother. And his mother made savory food, such as his father loved. Then Rebecca took the choice clothes of her elder son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. Because it was through Jacob was the one that formed the twelve tribes and part of the you call the hundred forty four thousand mentioned book of Revelation so it was through him so if Jacob got the blessing then Bible prophecy and the Jewish people would not be who they are today and Christ would not been chosen chosen on the right brother between Esau or Jacob if there was a, no deception from Rebecca and Isaac to fool Isaac because by laws at that time the firstborn has the right to be married first a different incident um, before the youngest. So that I mean Jacob would not have the blessing of his father, the inheritance that he was supposed to have that he was supposed to got if he if he didn't did what his mother 
told him to do because it was his birthright fulfill the Bible prophecy for for Christ to come on this earth through Jacob seed not Esau so people here's the deception and you want to read the rest of the chapter please do so for them to use verse 9 and we're going to play it one more time go now to the flock and bring me from there two choice kids of the goats and I will make savory food from them for your father such as he loves then you shall take it to your father that he may eat it you see it was not her intention to make the food after she was already heard that her oldest son was supposed to make this stew for his father. She knew with God's spirit that Jacob was supposed to took the birthright which he was he already got the birthright from his brother by preparing food and his brother was dying of starvation and he gave up his birthright to give it to Jacob and his father the blessing because later on he cursed his brother for t in front of his father which his brother wasn't there at that time that Jacob took his birthright and his father's blessing and his father had no more blessings that he was supposed to give to him he gave it all to Jacob so people that's what Watchtower does that they make deception by twisting the Bible scriptures applying to their religion applying to making women to believe that Obec uh, from her heart she was doing this because her husband was hungry no it was to give the true birthright and blessing to the, her youngest son so that's uh, all I have to say you can choose to believe Watchtower lies and this elder, elder giving this uh, blaspheming talk that I've been putting together all this week and last week or you going to listen to someone that um, was able to rip all these talks apart to show you I was in your seat when I was listening to all these garbage and lies myself so thank you for stopping by and I will be putting out new videos on different topics and I hope you enjoy them. Bye for now.